So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Now once you run this, we're going to type in WMIC space disk drive space list space brief and click on enter. And now we're going to type in REG SVR32 space forward slash U space CDROM dot SYS. Click on enter. In my case, I'm using a virtual machine, so that's why I just got an error. But in your case, you should not be getting this error. And if you do get the error, just click on OK and just continue on with the next commands in the video. Now you're going to type in REG SVR32 space CDROM dot SYS. Click on enter. And then the same thing that I just told you. Click on OK again. And now we're going to type in msdt.exe space hyphen id space device diagnostic and click on enter and now this will come up you want to click on next and then you want to run this if it detects any problems it will fix it for you and now for the next step you want to head over to search and type in device manager click on it and now once you run this you want to expand dvd cd rom drives expand this and now you want to find your cd or your dvd rom you want to right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search for your drivers Make sure they have the best driver that's installed for your device. If that's still not working, then you want to go back and click on Browse My Computer for Drivers and click on Every Pick from the list. And then you want to select the one that comes up, click on Next, and install that. And now for the next step, you want to head over to Search again and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on Yes. Now once you run this, you want to type in chkdsk space full slash f space full slash r. Click on Enter. And now this will come up. You want to type in Y, which means Yes, and then click on Enter again. And now you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now and then click on enter. Then you want to run this scan. Now once this scan has been completed, you just want to restart your computer. And now once your computer is turning on again, it's going to say to skip this checking, press any key. Do not press any key. So let all the seconds load in. And now it's going to start this checking. And now you just want to go through this checking. It will take a while. But now once you complete this and you go back to the windows, the problem should be fixed. Again, do not press any key when it asks you to.